update. Am I wrong for not giving my cheating wife another chance? Original post. Me, 39 male, and my wife, 33 female, have been together for 13 years. She recently went away on a girl's trip. I was not worried at all. I've never had a reason to distrust her. She has never done anything to give me a cause for concern. And it's not like she was even going abroad. She was going to a butlands half an hour away for God's sake. She went with her sister and a few other girls. She called me up this morning and I didn't expect anything other than her checking in. She's only been one night of a three-night trip. When I answered, she was crying and incoherent. When I finally calmed her down, she told me she had slept with someone else the night before. Supposedly, she met a guy who she approached. They flirted a little and danced together and she thought that was as far as it would go. But he supposedly just charmed her into a kiss, which turned to making out, which turned her to asking him to walk her back to her hotel, which turned into them doing the deed. She says nothing was amiss. It wasn't pushy or weird and they actually did it multiple times because she would say they need to stop and he would stop immediately and then after a few minutes she'd want him to carry on and he would. And he supposedly never even finished because of the stop slash starting. This supposedly went on for three hours and she eventually said stop for good and ask him to leave and he did. The guy is supposedly 10 years younger than her and she said she lied and told him she was going through a divorce. She says she doesn't know what came over her and she just wanted to see if she still had it, but got carried away. 14 years, married for 10 and we have a 7-year-old daughter. I want to leave her. She's begging me not to, offering marriage counseling, never going out again, never drinking again, etc, etc. But I've always been a one-chance sort of guy. I just told her to go screw herself and have been ignoring her since about 10 a.m. Now her friends and sister are calling me too. They apparently had no idea she'd even gone home with him. They saw them talking but thought nothing of it. I just want them all to leave me alone. I told my mom about it and she said I should think of my family and that my wife seems genuinely remorseful and didn't try and hide anything and came clean straight away. That it's not like she had an affair and that as bad as it is, this is best case scenario. After that conversation, I feel like I'm insane. Am I wrong for not even considering forgiving her? Now for the top comments before reading the update. You're not wrong at all. She broke your trust. Now every time she goes anywhere, will she do this again? And she didn't hook up with him one time. She told you it was multiple times. Turn your phone off and take your daughter out for a meal. Spend time with her before your wife gets home and starts love bombing you both and strong arming you. She approached the guy. She invited him to her room. She did him multiple times. Kind of weird that she felt so remorseful afterward, isn't it? I'm betting someone else on that trip threatened to tell her husband if she didn't. And on day one of a girl's trip? Wonder if she used protection with all that stopping and starting again and again. Also, think his mom cheated, and that's why she's like, it's fine, it wasn't an affair. Best case scenario is his wife kept it in her pants, mom. She didn't. So she's willing to not only nuke her marriage and family, she's willing to expose herself and you to all kinds of diseases. She sounds unhinged. As for your mother telling you to think of your family, why does that advice apply to you? You have done no wrong. Your wife threw her family off the roof. She's the one who should be getting a lecture. Why is everyone blowing up your phone? Why are you the bad guy? Why is it everyone and their mother berating and ridiculing your wife? Why are you supposed to roll over and take it? Why do you need to be a doormat? Call a divorce lawyer now. Don't expose yourself to any germs she may drag home. She told her affair partner that she was going through a divorce. Time to make an honest woman of her and divorce her. Best, most succinct answer. I do agree. The sad part is you can almost bet she's long had a desire to try out someone else in the bedroom. Her girl's trip just gave her the perfect excuse. I seriously doubt it was out of the blue in one night. There's a chance it could be, but I'd go with her having been thinking about it. That part hit me. She had her hook already before meeting that guy. She knew exactly what she wanted to say to convince some random that she was single and up for it. That means she'd been thinking about it for some time before actually doing it. This wasn't the spur of the moment overwhelming feelings as the wife is claiming. The specific guy wasn't planned, but the cheating was. Trust is broken. You are not wrong. Some will do marriage counseling, but I personally couldn't forgive this. Three hours of deception is a long time, and she knew it was wrong. I'm so sorry, OP. I get the one and done 100%. Three hours is crazy. 
That's not just a mistake or lapse in judgment. Now for the update. So my wife came home tonight after giving me the day to cool off. I asked to see the guy. I don't know why. Maybe I'm a sucker for punishment. And of course, he looks like a superhero. So that's great. Guy looks like Anthony Joshua or something. For the record, my wife is beautiful. Like perfect teeth, works out regularly, etc. I'm not ugly, but I'm just a typical English guy. Not overweight, but could probably lose a few pounds. Bit of a dad bod, etc. Still have a full head of hair, which is nice. I always felt so lucky to be with her. She was an amazing partner, an amazing mother, funny, intelligent, etc. I asked her to lay out what happened to me in more detail. I wanted to catch any lies slash changes in the story slash test her consistency. She basically says she was at the bar and a guy was stood next to her. They glanced at each other and she said, where did you came from? To him. He asked what she meant and she says she said he was the first handsome man she'd seen. And that's how the conversation got started. As for her telling him she was divorcing, that happened when he glanced down, noticed her ring and asked her about it. Apparently, once she said that, he went on to say, not like I care either way. What a gent. I ask if she thinks he could have slipped her anything and she says it's impossible because they only did shots together. I ask if she took any drugs and she admitted to doing coke with her friends, which isn't all that surprising. If you're from the UK and you're into drinking culture, it's pretty standard. A few of you seem to be American, so let me explain what exactly a butt lens is. It's basically a holiday resort, usually for families, but they sometimes host adult-exclusive weekends where it's a pretty big party place. It's cheap and grimy and can be a lot of fun. People dress up, there's DJs, live music, multiple venues and late-night entertainment, etc. As for people saying she got caught by her friends, she actually didn't. She disappeared with a guy and went home with him. Texted her friends she was tired and wanted to go to sleep, and as they were on a resort and the hotel is like a three-minute walk, they all just said to text when she was safe in her room. She was sharing a room with her sister, but she was in their other friend's room, drinking and doing coke because they thought she was sleeping. She told the guy to leave at around 6 a.m. because she thought her sister might be coming back soon, as that's when the party usually winds down. I asked her how many times she did it with a guy, and she said four or five, lasting between five to ten minutes each time. Apparently, even after cheating, she never thought she'd sleep with a guy. She says she just wanted to give him oral, so she did that. But a guy said he could only finish if he goes all the way. She didn't believe him, until 20 minutes later she still wasn't done, so she gave up and climbed on top of him. But then after about 5 minutes, she thought, what the heck am I doing? And got off him. Then lay there and cuddled him and drank more, and then 10 minutes later they would be touching each other again. This repeated 4 or 5 times. She says that she kept thinking it was wrong, but then would think it's too late now anyway, so might as well carry on and basically go through a loop of that. I asked her why she felt the need to see if she still had it, and she says since she hit 30, she's been self-conscious of her aging. That when she spots a new wrinkle or something, it drives her to tears. She said that chatting to the guy made her feel young again, and she latched onto that. Also, apparently the guy was there with a girl, who my wife said looked like a younger version of herself. And a guy pointed her out to my wife and said, that girl over there watching us has a crush on me, and laughed about it. After he had been talking to my wife for like 30 minutes, the girl had enough, walked over and kicked the table, spilling the guy's drink and then stormed off. She says that a guy picking her over a younger woman drove her ego crazy, and that was when she decided to kiss him. I asked her why she even told me, and she said that when she woke up, she saw I'd sent a selfie of me and our daughter eating pizza together and it sent her into a nervous breakdown. That she was wailing and sobbing so loud, it woke up her sister, and that's when she confessed. Her sister told her she was insane for what she did, and wasn't very comforting, and then left the room mad at her, which made it worse. And that's when she called me. I've asked her to leave the house for a few days, and she's staying at her mother's house while I decide what I want to do. She begged me not to make her leave, but she did when I said it was the least she could do after blowing up our entire lives over wrinkles making her sad. As for my mother, she still thinks I should forgive her. For context, my dad died about a year ago and my wife has really been a rock for my mom. I cannot see her as much as I would like due to my work, but my wife is a self-employed lash slash nail tech and has a lot of free time, which she uses to spend with my mom to keep her company, do her hair, and have girly days to try and make sure she doesn't get lonely. Like I said, she was such a perfect partner. No, I don't think my mom is a cheater or whatever, and she's very angry at my wife. But she loves her and she just wants everything to be okay. 
My daughter has no idea what is happening. She was already asleep when my wife came and went again. She will just think mommy's still on holiday. I still have no idea what I'm going to do. Honestly, I'm still reeling. But that's basically everything. Do people just have no self-control? You have to want to be in control to do so, unfortunately. I don't understand people who cheat for an ego boost. A good-looking person wants to use me so they can get off, and that suddenly means I'm worthy? Get the heck out of here! Especially for a woman, it's so easy for a woman to find no strings attached hookups, no matter what she looks like. If by got it she means still a sucker, then sure. Right? Also, if it really just the ego boost, the fact they approached you should be enough. You say thanks but no thanks and carry on. Wife is 100% holding some other reason back. Soon to be ex only regrets what she did because her life is now crumbling around her. She blew up her life, Opie's life and her daughter's life due to her selfishness. No sympathy for her. She was looking for an ego boost and was willing to get it at a cost of the people who love her. A new wrinkle set her off? Yeesh. So much for growing all together. Ever since she turned 30, she's starting worrying about aging and wrinkles. Oh, is she in for a shock? Signed, a 70-year-old woman. Nah, that was just a weak excuse she came up with after the fact. She wanted to fool around. And Coke probably wasn't great for impulse control. Opie will be better off without her. But I hope Opie can keep a close eye on things with his ex when she has their daughter. I would be distinctly uncomfortable knowing my child was in the care of a regular Coke user. Last story. Am I the a-hole for feeling insecure and confronting my wife after she gave her number to a guy at a cultural event? Hello Reddit, this is a throwaway account as my wife also see my posts on the main one. I'm reaching out because I need some outside perspective on something that happened last night which has left me feeling quite conflicted. My wife attended a cultural event with some friends and this morning, after I asked if anything happened that I should be aware of, she mentioned that a guy, a friend of her friend, had asked for a kiss towards the end of the night. She assured me she declined his request. This revelation made me feel insecure, prompting me to ask her a series of questions. I appreciate her honesty in telling me about this incident without any prompting, which clearly shows she was trying to not hide anything from me. However, my insecurities got the better of me, and I asked if she had added him on any social media platforms, to which she answered no. Later that day, I saw a notification on her phone from this man, thanking her for giving him her number and expressing how much he enjoyed meeting her. I confronted her about this. I want to clarify that my confrontation was not out of a belief that she did anything wrong, but rather because I felt that she should have mentioned she had given out her number when I asked about social media. She explained that everyone exchanged numbers at the beginning of the event before he had made any advances, and she didn't think it was significant to mention, especially since she had forgotten about it by the time I asked. She is now upset with me for what she perceives as possessive behavior. I admit that my insecurities led me to ask multiple questions, but I still believe that asking such questions is part of a healthy relationship dynamic, especially when feeling uneasy about a situation. Am I the a-hole for feeling insecure about this situation and confronting my wife for not telling me she gave out her number, despite initially being upfront about another advance from the same guy? Edit for clarification. I was in the couch with her when she received a first message, so she never replied to him. Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. I would ask her to block the number and delete it, as this man has no respect for your marriage and will likely keep contacting her. If I do this, then I will probably be accused of being possessive, right? I'm always stuck on expectations that I can't say out loud because it becomes forced or toxic if forced. Don't let people who are out to destroy your marriage into your lives. This man has already shown his intentions. His wife is the freaking problem here, not the guy. What is mind-boggling is that she gave another man her personal cell phone number. How the heck does she not realize that this behavior is problematic? OP should ask her how she would feel if he gave his phone number to a random woman at an event and then said woman ask for a kiss. I am married 20 plus years. I respect my husband and boundaries. If a man asks for my number and for some reason they miss the wedding ring, I say I am married. Smile, walk away. She gave him the number before his behavior, so not a big deal there. But after asking to kiss her and then messaging her, she should not respond and block his number out of respect for her marriage. That isn't being possessive. I'm so sick of hearing this BS nonsense about controlling or possessive people while actively disrespecting their marriages. Pathetic. If she wants to entertain other men, she can do it single. 
thank you. I don't know if it's a generational thing or an impairment thing or what, but I see it on here all the time. Don't let people that don't respect your partner or your relationship into your life. It's that simple. It's not controlling to expect your significant other to abide by this. Yeah, that's a big not the a-hole. Him having her number isn't a big deal. It became a big deal when he made a pass at her and she didn't tell you about it. Now, people are human, but her reaction makes me think it wasn't as one-sided as she is making it seem. If it were a mistake, likely the response would be, Oh crap, I completely forgot we all exchanged numbers. Ew, not going to reply to him. But she attacked you instead. Yeah, that's what got me insecure actually. I clearly asked her and later on saw the exact moment the first message arrived. She says that it's her hard work to always have to describe everything that happens whenever she goes out and is genuinely upset at me for making a big deal out of this. Nah, a dude trying to kiss her is a big deal. If she's not making a big deal of it, I'm concerned.